super well so far. Empire flourishing. Do I have any Shiite people in my realm? No, I don't. So that's a good thing. So they do still have the rebellions down here? Yeah, they do. So that's good, because I know I could defeat this huge empire. This huge Khanate could be defeated. I could gain all the way down to Iraq. And then I'm going to have to push around this area and capture this. All of it, if I can. That should give me the manpower needed to uh, fight off Europe. Ooh, modernized land tech. Accept. Black news indeed. No matters. It's a little mishap. Yeah, well, we're next to Spain here, so here he has uh, where we could westernize off them. Anyways, they have no choice but to take territories here because they lost territories here, so. Austria and France are going to have to war deck each other eventually. What are what is Austria asking anyway? Austria is going to take a chunk out of the Papal States as well, or he's just enacting his revenge for his dad's uh, excommunication. Oh, cool! We can see uh, the entirety of Asia now. So let's take a look. So yeah, China's still trying to form. Yuan Khanate is still surviving. Over here there is uh, some nation that's fighting. <laughs> Sorry, I can't spell that. Um, Novgorod has expanded into Siberia. Muscovy is almost crushed. And uh, yeah, they're going to have to get Ryzen and then after that form Russia maybe. Not too sure if it's going to ever form though, but we'll see. And Spain has this uh, rebellious problem. Ignore their demands. Noble rebels are exactly the same as normal rebels. Except they're just twice as strong and as badass. Ignore demands. Let's try to see if we could change anything. Red autonomy, resist Western influences. Got no choice. Okay, so yeah. Yay, we gained more uh, cores. Uh, diplomatic. So this is what's left of the Golden Horde. Trebanids have their thing. Austria is still like trying to fuck over the papal states for some reason but beside that everything's going fine anyways guys it's very late at night for me I recorded what four hours of episodes so I will upload them as soon as I can and you guys hopefully will be appreciative see you soon and greetings Blackward is back <clears throat> indeed I took one day break from uh, recording and all that but it shouldn't be bothering you one little bit so let us take a look at Europe being as fucked up as it is, but still kind of um, okay, because Austria looks like what Austria more or less should look like. France is just taking over Spain for some reason. The Portuguese are taking over North Africa. And I'm trying to consolidate my own empire. So, let's keep going with that. By the way, sorry if the last few episodes were a little bit, uh, the voice was a little down because it was the middle of the night, alright? So, uh, pardon me for that. In any case, I'm trying to convert, uh, Sophia right now to, uh, our Islamic rule. Uh, I'm gonna move my armies around. Uh, as we are in peace, I'm gonna cut the funding to about one quarter. So, like that, we have money to do other things, build buildings and monuments and increase our culture and all that crap and 
make everybody happy. Wherever there's the highest revolt risk, I'm gonna build temples because then you could build courthouses, and uh, that will help a lot. Why are you people rebellious? It's nationalism, conquest, Roman expansionism. Have the conquest, Roman expansionism on uh, Cyprus. England's defender of the Capitolic face. Although you see here, there's a center of trade that would be very useful. So I could send uh, my fleet over and an army over and take it over in a nutshell. That shouldn't be too... Whoops. Oh my god, I lost the battle. No, unforgivable. Uh, let me just check where is my military at. I'm going to send these guys in to end these noble rebels. Also, one guy was, was screaming at me on the first view vi on the first video about like freaking uh, being careful and not fucking uh, and looking at my army composition. I think they work perfectly. Now I'm mining gain one. Ignore their demands. I have no choice currently. Ooh, damn. Another one over there. So we're having a few little rebel problems, but that's normal because we just conquered those states. They're going to take a little bit of convincing before uh, anything happens. Luckily we do have a bit of uh, expansion in the Middle East and we're moving towards Judea which is owned by Sweden now which means I'm gonna have to war with Sweden most likely so that's gonna not be very good because <laughs> uh, Sweden seems to want to own Rome right now we are truly blessed Ching, there you go at least I have the land reform going. Now I need naval, so I need 20% navy tradition. I need 40% efficiency. And government, I need a ruler. Diplomatic skill 7, and a statesman has a skill of a... One of the following must be through. So the ruler of diplomatic at least 7. Great general available. Perfect. Egyptian conscripts. There you go. What is their land tech? It's 14. What is mine? Mine is 11. So, should be getting bonuses, but I'm not. Damn you, Byzantium. I'm Freaking allied with France and England. Although their new capital is Odessa, so. Roman expansionism. I could get a lot of provinces from that. And I could have a core. I could get this capital, but the problem is that I can't do it. Oh, yeah, the Russian states. Novgorod is huge as usual. And Ryzen took a big chunk, so Ryzen might form Russia, but most likely Novgorod because they own so much right now. So let's see. Oh my god, Novgorod is Christian. Alright, so we might see the death of the Orthodox fate here. That's interesting. Funged is Orthodox as well. And, uh, yeah, Papal States are going to lose a lot. And, yeah, the Austrians are forming their Mega Empire. The French have their Mega Empire. And I'm trying to stay on the sidelines, trying not to get involved with them too much just yet. Declare war. Damn, I have no Casas Belli on these fuckers. I can't take over Syria. What's my uh, objective again? Eastern Balkans. So I need to get involved with uh, with Byzantium. Jesus Christ. 
Um, all right, we go innovative more. Quality more. Quality. Get a new commandant. I guess I'm gonna take Byzantium because that's the, my mission. But I pray to God that England and France won't get their noses in my business. I'm going to move this big army here and I'm going to keep this small army kind of in the center as um, as kind of reinforcements. There you go. So let's go and build a bunch of buildings as our economy is like really high up there. So the Chabanids still have their empire. I can't believe they're still holding on to it. And they're really trying to uh, like convert. Uh, I think they are the only Shiite nation except Oman. But Oman is really not messed around with a lot. I don't know. It's a very peaceful nation. I never seen it do a lot. It's it's kind of just there, you know. <laughs> uh, we are truly blessed. Religious liberation. Uh, Oh yeah, they captured some Islamic nation uh, provinces. So let's increase our uh, thing. So basically, what I need to do in this war is go with Blitzkrieg steamroll tactic. We've got to end this before anything happens. Black Sea Squadron. Hopefully you're. Almost ready to go, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna build more ships because I need them. Holy War, Religious Liberation against Ethiopia. All right. We have been guaranteed by the Mamluks, but they can barely hold their own.